Hi viewers, welcome to Max IELTS tutorial. If you are a first time viewer of our channel, then subscribe our channel without fail. In this video, we will be discussing about task 1 of an academic writing test. First, we shall have a look at the important points to be remembered about our academic writing task 1. Your task 1 contributes to one third of the total band which you will be receiving in your writing task. You will have to utilize not more than 20 minutes to complete your task 1. In this 20 minutes, you can spend the first 10 minutes to design your outline and rough draft of your report writing. Then you can start off with your fair writing and don't spend more than 5 minutes to complete it. The last 5 minutes can be spared for checking your answer. Remember, the word limit for this task is 150 to 180 words and it is always better to stick on to the maximum word limit that is 180 words. Of the academic writing, you are supposed to write a report summarizing and comparing the main features of a given bar graph, line graph, pie chart, a table or even a diagram or flow chart. The graphics which get can further be classified into three types. Independent graphics and comparison of graphics and step-by-step -step process. These are few examples of the types of graphics which will appear in the examination. Next, we shall have a look at the structure of an independent report. First, we will have to write an introduction. In the introduction, you will have to paraphrase the given question. Then, you will have to write an overview for the report. In the overview, you must mention all the striking features which seem to be very important. But remember, you shouldn't include any of the statistical data in the numeric form. In the second paragraph, you must explain all the striking features with statistical data in the given graphic numerically. Again, you must see to that you don't use the same vocabulary in both the paragraphs. In the final paragraph, you must explain the remaining data with numeric data. You needn't have a concluding paragraph for a report writing. Next, we shall discuss about the structure of a comparison report. When you get a report writing where you are in a situation to compare two given graphics, then in the first paragraph, you must paraphrase the given question. Next, you must write an overview in which you discuss the striking comparisons from the given graphics without mentioning any numeric data. In the third paragraph, you will be writing the same information with the statistical and numerical data without repeating any vocabulary. In the final paragraph, you must write about the other remaining inputs with statistical and numeric data. Next, we shall have a look at structure of a report where we are given with a process. The first paragraph must be the paraphrase of the given question and coming to the detailed paragraphs, we will have three detailed paragraphs. Unlike the other two reports, we needn't write about the striking features twice for this type of a report. You will have to divide the given process into three parts and explain each part in the chronological order as mentioned in the graphic given. Now, let us discuss about the word limit which we must follow for a report writing. This is just a rough split of word limit. You may alter this according to your wish. As we have discussed previously, you must write a total of 4 paragraphs for a report writing. So roughly, if you utilize 45 words per paragraph, then you can achieve the word limit of 180 words easily. Hope you have got a clear idea of the pattern and structure of academic IELTS writing task 1. If the video was informative, please like and share our video. Subscribe our channel for our future videos and click on the bell button to receive the notification of the same. 
You can also follow us on our Instagram and Facebook pages.